Hello and welcome to Bakes Foods. In this video, I'm sharing with you one of our latest vertical rotisserie experiments that turned out amazing. Stacked chicken, bacon, brisket, jalapeno. Welcome back to Bakes Foods. Today we got the vertical rotisserie out and we are going to do a brisket flat and we're going to stack some chicken thighs with some bacon. We're just going to put a bunch of stuff on the vertical rotisserie. We're attempting it. It's going to be good. So I've got these thighs. I, all I did was I cut the bone out, flay them out. We got a pile of bones over there. We're just gonna cook on the fire, or you can buy boneless thighs. But just gonna get these seasoned up. Don't have to do too much here. We're just gonna do one side too because we are putting bacon. That's right, bacon and onions between the layers. So oh, ho, ho, ho. this is enough seasoning already. We're gonna go ahead and start stacking. Let's get to stacking. Chicken. So we've seasoned our chicken, meat side. We're gonna go ahead and put them skin side up. Just gonna go over center. We're just gonna start stacking this. And you see how it's just kind of dripping over that, that brisket there. We'll just keep going. I just realized we got beef, chicken, and pork. Yeah. Oh, it's so the this meat trio of the meat, ultimate meat trio, vertical rotisserie. And it's gonna be good. And that's by design, actually. <clears throat> we want those juices, that flavor, just to keep falling through, and that'll help keep our brisket nice and tender. Okay, let's put a little extra jalapeno on there top. We're just going to make a nice little bacon button. <laughs> what was that called again? Uh, bacon button. I like it. <laughs> All right, guys, that brisket is looking pretty well seared. So we're going to go ahead we're gonna wrap that up with some tin foil. I'm gonna to try to leave the chicken exposed still um, because that top especially is not crisped up yet. And then what we do, little little tip for you guys, if you cut out the bone of your thighs and just kind of leave a lot of that the meat on there, they make for awesome thigh wings. Dark meat. Seize them up, I'm gonna throw them right over the fire. Right now we're at about two and a half, three hours cooking time, and another two, three hours, maybe five hours total. We'll see what happens. Look at Now, you guys, look at this. Crispy. No, it isn't. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Give us a like and subscribe if you want to see some more videos. Let us know what you think in the comments section below and what else you want to see us cook. We've got plenty more vertical rotisserie, crock pot videos. We're going to be making some different grills, cook stoves, doing a bunch of cool stuff. So make sure you subscribe and don't miss out on any of that. Until the next one, <laughs> bakes out. Yeah. Bendy spoon, you know? <laughs> <laughs>